so I've had a few people asking me how I was doing these effects and stuff over the last few weeks so yeah I'm just gonna try to make a little tutorial see what happens uh, there's a high chance my computer might shit itself because uh, it's screen recording and video and processing at the same time so it's a piece of shit so it might actually fail but anyway let's see so here's a super exciting video of me walking across some chairs to do this effect you need <clears throat> just to make sure that the video is on a tripod so the, the background doesn't move at all and I definitely recommend having like some contrasting colors like see the way the black against the white because it can make the visuals go a bit weird if you use two bright colors or if there are, say if I was wearing a white or something similar to the background it, it, it doesn't work so first one easy if you go over to effects and search echo drag it on to your clip so what I think this effect does is it basically overlays the image on top of itself that's why it's gone like super bright so if you go to oops go to echo go to operator and go to minimum that just duplicates the darker colors so you'll see now so this is the distance between the copies so this means there's one copy this is the distance in time that's ahead of time a positive number negative numbers behind Let's see now so if I want to give a bit of space you can see there because of the contrast so go back a few frames you can see that's what it means by the dark colors either way my face it's like disappearing so I'll bring in a few more and then a few more copies so that's one copy two, three, four yeah it's not quite rendering so good because of the screen recording but you get the picture so that's it you can do as many as your computer can handle you can get some pretty cool stuff if you have them like close together And the computer has shit itself. Yeah, so for this second effect, we're gonna mess around with the hue. This is a pretty simple but effective uh, effect. I really like using this one. So yeah, just search HLS on the effects bar. You'll get this one, color balanced HLS. Color balanced HLS. Drag it on. So we're gonna be messing with the hue. So, if you click this little stopwatch, this starts automation. So this will cause it to cycle through the colors. So go for zero. So no, sorry, go to the start of the clip. Turn hue on. Then go all the way to the end of your clip. Just the end, and then drag this up. Depending on how far you go, how, this is how fast it'll cycle through the colour, so I'll just try that. Then go back to the start, hit play. So it's pretty cool, simple but effective, and the more intense colours you have, the more um, extreme the effect. You can also mess around with the saturation, this makes it really intense, but I don't recommend going any more than like 4 or 5, or you can start getting a lot of like knives and squares and glitches and stuff unless that's what you're after but I'd say I just go to like four or five see that nice then if you use them in combination with each other let me put the echo before color balance 